Hey everyone, I know it's been a little a while and you know just haven't been really playing too much of it since there's really not much else to do. So without um, further ado, I'm just gonna go over my account real quick and maybe even get some tips from some of the top top players. I did get my angel, this new angel. She will be five star probably later tonight. And um, I'm not sure how well she does because I don't know. She seems good. She's with the uh, second skill, but we'll see. So right now, real quick, I do have you know troubles. I uh, I can't seem to break the barrier of like 850 KBR. So I'm assuming my emblems are not that good. And I wish I wish I saved up all of my uh, what are those? The materials because you know like a month two months ago you didn't need them so you sell them for items you can trade for and now i would have them all maxed out if i had saved them so a little upset with that but it's okay now here's this guy level 96 and i cannot beat him with no matter what teams i use no matter how many times i switched out so i'm assuming because he's level 95 i'm not sure because he's level 95 if that makes a big difference or not I still think Celeste is sorry, as she probably doesn't stun anymore, so we'll keep that there, keep that there. So I don't like using both of these two heroes, and I mean if I auto, this is my strongest team, which does not beat him, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I like to keep uh, him because he attacks the back row, she attacks the back row, gives, and then, then she will give more rage and attack. Then I usually use Dark Paladin, maybe use Blood Baroness, but she's very weak right now. Hopefully by tomorrow I'll have a little bit more stuff to level up. And maybe she might be good, I don't know, maybe Panda would be good. And then we can put her, because she only attacks really the front hero to wherever she needs to be. So she's not really, I don't know, she's not that great I guess. I guess she is great, but... Mm. We'll use Hellhound for defense for the back. Minotaur for hills. If we use Minotaur for hills, we won't need her. Um, maybe have these three in the back. That might be better. And then we can keep Light Envoy, Lunar. But then this team is just overall pretty bad. So with that said, I'm just going to go for it. I just cannot beat them. Even with my BR. Even if I had part like 900 KBR, I still wouldn't beat him. So I assume this guy is using the defense crest, which I wish I leveled up as well. And it would probably be a lot easier to beat him. Um, maybe my hero positioning isn't good. Maybe Cupid might help me out here and there. But I don't know. I just cannot beat this guy. I can beat some of his teams twice. I can snipe his team last minute, maybe get lucky. But I just don't get it. I mean, I mean, my my astrals are pretty good. They're pretty much all maxed on these heroes. Uh, relics are max. What else are max? Hero boosts are all plus ten, plus nine. So I really don't think that matters, as it's only a one thousand BR difference. So it has to be my awakened heroes. You know, I should awaken them all to max. If I get them all max, then I'll probably have all max heroes. Probably get me around eight hundred sixty KBR. But it just takes forever to max them, and I don't think he has his heroes maxed. The only advantage he has is what? He's level 96, so he gets the uh, the items. And yes, he can max his weapons. Which, maybe I should visit his server and figure out what is exactly his heroes are. But Or he can, or if he watches this video, he can just hook me up for this number one spot. Just this number one spot one time. Because all I need is one time, then I can get my Draco six stars. Without dropping a lot of money to get her. So... I guess we can try again. I don't know. I mean, it just doesn't seem what it doesn't seem, doesn't matter. I guess because his heroes are just strong. Or maybe we will put these two up front. How about that? So her, her. Who else? Light Envoy. Should we even use Light Envoy? Should we just use all attack heroes? All attack heroes. There you go. And then this one will have Light and Void, Dark Paladin, we need at least some, hit some hitters, 
And I'm just gonna auto this crap. Hey, no, 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 no. I think I want a little priest in here. So you would think these two heroes would be good together. And then I like to keep Hellhound up front just because he gives defense to the back rows. So let's see what this does. Nope, nothing. Cannot beat that guy whatsoever. Just go to battle report and you can see all my losses. <laughs> I mean, my first time I attacked him, I won a couple of times. I think the second time I attacked him, I won twice. So, no, I don't know what's going on. So, obviously, he's killing me with one team. That's exactly what I want to do. One team. If I can have one strong team, which I did focus on. This is my strongest team. Uh, let's see. Let's go to my. Let's go to my defense. No, go back. I said defend. I like to mess around here. Uh, actually, go to arena. So usually this is what I wanted to use. Actually, I don't want to use her. I want her. Her. And maybe. Obviously, I have to wait. Maybe by the end of the night, and I will have Blood Barons maxed. I'm gonna switch out a crest. Maybe take out Knights and Tenon, because he doesn't seem to be that good. And then I will fully max her out. I have no idea where I'm at right now with her. Because I'm slowly spending gems here. I think once I get her Astro maxed out, then I'll be good. And you know, like I said, most of my support heroes are using defense. Uh, AGS I think is really great. I'm using that on Minotaur, and he has like 450k HP. And but I can't seem to get another good set. So I don't know. And everyone else is using attack. So that's <coughs> on that one. He's the only one using crit. So maybe take all this out and give it to her. Or, I think I might have good assaults. I have to wait till that thing resets and I can buy another set. Other than that, I don't know. I mean, it just irritates. I did drop a lot this week to get this angel. And I still can't beat this guy. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's go back. I mean, I just cannot beat him. I don't even, there's one more person in this server that can beat me. I ain't got to worry about anybody else. I mean, it's just a luck, I guess, sometimes. Oh, where is he? Hmm. Moro, where are you at? You know what's crazy? Because I beat this guy in the tournament, the other tournament. And I felt like, yes, maybe I can finally beat him. And <sighs> nope, he upgraded some stuff. And I can't do crap now. I hope Cupid will be better than, I don't know, you think using Cupid? I really have to switch out my plus 10s because these, these three heroes, uh, Pandora, Isolate, and Celeste are plus 10. Everyone else are like plus 5. So I need to be careful because I don't think she's that good. I'm trying to see what else can we do because she hits the back row, she hits the back row. Maybe level up this guy because he hits the back row and then use some tanks. But that probably wouldn't work. I think using tanks up front isn't that great. Because exactly. Because it doesn't matter if I beat him once or not. You know, uh, you know. If, even if I wait last minute, I have to make sure that he doesn't switch up his team. He does switch up his team once I beat it. I noticed that. So... Yeah, that Blood Baron, man. I need a, I should have leveled her up a lot more. So he's using... Oh, man, look at this. His first team doesn't even have Paragon Herald. What? That's even more sad that I can't even beat him with that. Well, let's try that, then. Can't beat him. Let's just try it. Let's see his attack him. So let's not use any of our... But then I don't want to use her. We can use Isoloid. So she, cause she's, she does 
move the heals away. Alright, since he's using defensive heroes, I don't really have any defensive heroes. Oh, man. We'll use her instead, Bedlord Baron. Maybe Panda. And. Hmm. Yeah, I need I need to level up more than 15 heroes. I need at least a good 20 heroes. Maybe her? She might be good? Alright, I guess nice and gentle. And then. Oops. Let's do this. Hair over there. And then this one will have both of these guys back. Oh, now I don't have any defense. Crap. Alright, we'll put her up front. She can probably go up front. And then these two can go there. Maybe this is a bad position. And then save. I'm gonna get right. Damn, didn't even hurt it at all. Oh my god. I should be able to beat him. I don't, I'm not sure what he's using. He has to be using that defense crest. That defense crest is OP as hell. I've seen someone with 600 KBR beat someone with 800 KBR because he used defense crest. I don't have enough materials. Now, anyone down below got some tips on how to get that 850k? Is it is it because of my awakened heroes? Because you need at least 160k total BR. Because 160k. 150k will give you 700k plus your angel that's gonna give you 800k yeah 160k will give you 850k br so i'm far away with my awakens also i've been debating on trying to level these up at least to level five it takes six thousand gems per evolve thirty thousand gems total as long as you have all of this and that's what i did with I think my Dark Paladin and Mirabel, I have them at least this next one. I have to be level 95 to max it, but it takes, I don't know if that's worth it though. Emblem's costing me like 40k gems a level, which is killing me. And I don't think, I'm not sure I'm at events. Because Hero Boost is only 1k BR Astral. I mean... Most of them are good. I mean, I'm still trying to max her out, hopefully by the end of the day. And, um, you know, this is only like 500 BR left. You know, another 200 BR left. I have a calculator thing that calculates this stuff. You know, maybe this is average 1500 BR. That's not that much of a difference. So it's no point in trying to get her. Definitely need to get her. This is probably like 2000 BR total left here. And at least more defense. But she's not evil. He's max, he's max, she's good. I think she's good. Probably, yeah, that's not even worth doing. It's only 500 BR difference. So other than that, I think that's it. I mean, that's where I'm at right now. And um, I don't know why it's showing my three heroes here. Oh yeah, because I was testing her out. I mean, I don't really have anything I can do to test her out with. I mean, we can try to do Wharf. I don't really do Wharf because no one else does it. Oh man, that's 11k. Let's see, anybody in here strong enough for me to test? Oh, that's my guild. One. There was one person. 1.3, okay. Uh, I won't be able to test it because I usually kill them before they she even procs. But I'm hoping her 5 star will be better than either Isoloid or get rid of Celeste because I don't think her stun is that important anymore. And it's random. Well, um. Seacrest Evans. I mean, it's just impossible to get everything awakened. That's the reason why I need to check out Lance on his server. I like this, but you know, it's kind of expensive doing this. It's like literally every 100 you spend is one level per awaken or one awaken evolve. And it's like, so every 500 will get you a full level. That's not worth it, no. No, no, no. I shouldn't do that. I mean, I got this angel and I got all these materials. I'm still trying to get better crests. I have 645 of these. 
Let's open them. So we got a total of 10, 11, 11, six stars, and stuff I don't need. Ooh, that one might be good, but that one sucks. 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 Really sucks. Don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. No HP. No H Man, that was just bad. That's the issue with, um, you know, you take the risk of buying those and they end up sucking pretty bad. I don't really care about five stars, so. It's, I mean, if. Personally, if you if you don't have any five star, can get you to almost as close as much beer I, ha I have. But you really have to focus on a lot of stuff here. You know, attack needs to have attack bonus on the top. At least an HP bonus, defense bonus, HP bonus. I think is preferred. Same thing here. I don't know why he has so much beer because he has no attack. I just randomly put it on him. Anyway, maybe that's why he dies so much. Maybe I put Agius on him. But it's so hard to get Agius. I mean, 450k HP here. I mean, I can replace this for HP and get 100%. But I think this is pretty good. It's even out. Support heroes, defense, Agius, I think are really good. Blessing could be very good. But Blessing doesn't add a lot of BR. But like I said, BR obviously does not matter. So, whatever Chris is good. I mean, like I said, most of these Chris needs to have their main stat percentage. Usually Blessing, you're going to want HP. And then more HP. And then maybe attack as a secondary. Other than that, that's where I'm at. And it's the only thing. I mean, I can't even get for it. I mean, I'm like, I can't even get top three in the I can't get, I can't, I mean, I can stay second place across, but it's pointless, man. I got all the heroes except Draco, six stars. Other than that, let's see what else we have. So I have a thousand of these, so I can buy the attack, attack, and attack. Save those. We're not going to have an event for this again. Definitely need to have an event for that again. But anyway, that will be it for this video. Any tips would be great. If not, that's cool. Maybe hopefully I get lucky and beat him. But, you know, I can't really beat him now because he's going to beat me again later. I just need to figure out how to beat him within the last minute. Preferably, but, you know, he will switch up his team. Anyway, uh, that will be it. And uh, thank you for watching.